I haven't been on a second date in over a year. Really, my goal here is just to reduce my anxiety when approaching women. Excuse me. Oh, my God. Two singles with common dating issues will attempt to break their bad dating habits in just 21 days. Good things are coming around the corner. I like your shirt. That's really cool. I like that. It's a scarf. <laughs> scarf. Yeah, things are not going very well. And with my help... Hi, Dr. Schwartz. How are you? If you use a canned pickup line, it's just not going to work. You need to change your approach. When I meet people, I tend to hold them up to some standard of husband material. Or not. Once this experiment is over, will they be ready to find the one? You don't think we clicked at all? Uh, this is really awkward. I don't feel like I really, um, ever have people to catch me, ever. Doing this is really important for me because I'd really like to find someone that I can connect with. Hi. I'm Lee. Wait, I'm Sam. I'm Lee. Oh, Lee. Do I really believe that 21 days can break a habit? What do you do here like, on your off time? We'll see. Sleeping? It was the worst of the worst. Lee and Mercedes have a very common problem, which keeps them single. Mercedes is not flexible when it comes to her needs in a man. And Lee's fear of approach holds him back from asking women out. Both of these habits are fixable, and the two of them will have 21 days to do just that. My name is Mercedes McDowell. I'm, I'm a flight attendant. When I was younger, I thought I'd be married by 26. That's not going to happen, because <laughs> I'm 25 now. The last time I was in love was almost three years ago. I haven't had a boyfriend since. I haven't been on a second date in over, like, a year. Some people think it's because of my list. I have a list of 35 qualifications that I'd like to see in a so, Number one, loves Jesus. Number two, a natural leader. Number three, not passive. Number four, athletic abs would be great. I tend to compare guys to my list when I go on dates. Does not smoke. Rarely drinks, if any. Likes pets. I have a baby, tortoise, loves children, has no children. Likes to dance, preferably salsa. And if they don't match up to the list, I tend to write them off after the first date. Able to lift me above his shoulders. I think that's fair. No one makes a list that long and expects it to be filled. It's really a good way to stay single. Uh, it's common, it hides insecurities, but you have to get past those insecurities if you're going to move on. So with Mercedes, we're going to have to investigate a little deeper. The list is about compatibility. I've been in a long-term relationship, and that did not work out. I got my heart broken. I put up all these barriers, all these guidelines for myself to protect myself. But I've decided to go on some dates that I wouldn't usually go on to see if my list might be holding me back from finding a good man. At the end of this 21-day journey, I need to pick someone to go on a second date with. Hopefully, it can be somebody that I like. And if he's husband material, That'll be a bonus. My name's Lee Iovino. I am 29, and I live in Los Angeles. I haven't really had a very serious relationship in a while. I mean, the last girl I dated was in high school for a few years on and off. I've had a lot of struggle trying to get dates. Approach anxiety is something that I have always had. I'm kind of like a deer in the headlights. I freeze up. Fear of rejection like overpowers me a lot of times, and I just don't approach them. I've just gone so long dealing with it, I'm just really sick of it and want to change that. The first thing you need to do about approach anxiety is to try and figure out what are you really scared of and why? Because most of the time, if you can label it, you realize that it's something you can deal with and you can conquer. The last time I was interested in someone was at my old job. There was this girl there, Jackie, who I would chat up in the halls and be really friendly with, but just never had the confidence to ask her out. I'm hoping that by the end of 21 days, I'm gonna be able to get over my approach anxiety, ask Jackie out, and just not care about whether or not she tells me to F off or says she's not interested. Last winter I was lonely on my Mercedes only goes out with people who she thinks fits her list. And clearly that hasn't gone very well for her. So I want to find out why. Today she's going out on a date with a guy who conforms to a lot of things on the list. He's Christian, tall, strong. He fits her bill. But I hope she finds out that just filling out that list doesn't make a perfect date. Hey. Hey, hello. 
How are you? Fine, Sam. I'm well. Give me a hug. Thank you, man. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to see you. Yeah, nice to see you. So I just saw your bracelet. What's what's the story behind that? Yeah, it's from my church. Oh, my you church? go to church? Yeah, I go to church every Sunday. Oh. I love God. I love people. I'm a Christian, so I like that, you know. Oh, okay. Yes. Well, that's cool. You Christian? Yeah. Hey, damn. You didn't tell me that. I don't know, man. Yeah. <laughs> Do you mind if I run to the restroom? So far, the date is okay. He really shocked me when he was talking about how he's a Christian. It's good news. <laughs> okay. Bye. Gotta get back to my bed. What kind of man do you like? What kind of man would I like? Yeah, for when married. A leader? I'm a leader already. OK. I'm very selective. Oh, yeah. you're very selective. Yeah, I'm selective, man. Well, let's talk about it. My woman, first of all, is going to know how to cook. Do you know how to cook? Hmm? Or you only know how to make eggs? OK. Do not insult me. <laughs> OK, I know how to make some eggs. That's not a cook. I'm a first relationship. We broke up because she doesn't know how to cook. And the second, I want a woman that I can say, okay, sit down there. Don't go anywhere. We're not going out today. Tell your friend that we can do it all the time. So you feel like you can tell a woman to sit down and she's supposed to sit down? She's supposed to sit down, if it's a good woman. I'm hoping that Mercedes discovers that going out on a date with someone who conforms to everything you think you want doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> OK. <laughs> We can try that out later, see how that work out for you. So I prefer to marry the woman that's a Christian, and if she doesn't know what to do, I'm the one man to let her know what to do. Right. Yes. This was, this was fun. I appreciate it. Yeah. Mercedes did well to stick with it. It's not easy to go out with a date who you don't know at all. And even if it's a bad day, it's worth something. You learn a lot. You learn how to handle yourself. You learn someone else's story. And then you can move on with new information about yourself and what you want. So I'm glad that I had an open mind today because he kind of shocked me a little bit when he said he was a Christian. But I don't want somebody that's controlling. That right there, you're not getting a second date. All right, so this is day two. I'm going hiking and running with my buddy Drew. And you know, he's a real natural with women and I'm hoping that I could possibly learn something from him. Listen, Lee. Yeah. All right, I know you have anxiety about talking to girls. So we're gonna start off slow. I yeah. want you to say hi to this black dog. Like if you can't like say hi to this dog right here, how are you gonna say hi to a girl? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> hey, booty there. Hey, buddy. I just want to touch me. <laughs> I could feel it, like, why the dog didn't want to do it, because you felt forced. You felt forced, the dog felt forced, he didn't want to do it. This is the same thing that's going to be going on with all of these girls. I don't agree with the instructions that Lee's friend is giving him. You have to start with the person, not the dog. Face the owner, make some eye contact then, and then you can ask if you can pet the dog. Besides, going straight for the dog is a really good way to get bit. OK, so let's go directly for a person. Ooh. Is that, is that an Australian accent? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> What's your name? Ivana. Ivana? I'm Andrew. How did you engage that again? What did you do? How did I you have no me? idea, Lee. Many people like Lee are mystified about how to start a conversation, while other people think it's a piece of cake and it's perfectly easy. People like Lee don't have these natural instincts. And so for him, it has to be a step-by-step -step process to understand how to do it. But don't worry, you'll get there. Just say hello to this girl right here. Which one? Right there. Wait, where are you looking at? Oh. Fail. OK, I, I, I can't do this. Hey, you can. You got this, Lee. Just don't don't think about it. Just just say hello. You right, got right, this. Right, right. Man. I mean, the goal today was to talk to some women, but I'm just really not feeling it. I'm kind of feeling a little depressed right now. I mean, I'm just not as confident as him. I mean, I look at him and he's just so much better at it. He's so much more natural. I'm trying my best to stay positive and just get through it.
Lee and Mercedes have a very common problem, which keeps them single. Mercedes is not flexible when it comes to her needs in a man. I have a list of 35 qualifications. And Lee's fear of approach holds him back from asking women out. I have these thoughts in my head, like if I approach a woman, she's not going to want to talk to me. Both of these habits are fixable, and the two of them will have 21 days to do just that. All you ever give me is an opening line. All I ever want. <sighs> There we go. I like your shirt. That's really cool. I like that. Just scarf. <laughs> scarf. You dropped the ball on that one. For some reason, Lee's been trying to meet women on the street, which is the worst possible place to try and establish any kind of meaningful contact. Excuse me. Do you know what time it is, by any chance? Um, it's actually 3:50. Thanks. Yeah. Warm up. Doing a warm up. Hey, I'm Lee. I thought you were cute. Wanted to come say hi. I just want to die right now. The street is a way to get somewhere. People have an agenda, and they don't want to be stopped. So, unless you're George Clooney, they're really not going to be too excited to stop and see what you want. So, first of all, you were out there, you know, trying to pick up women on the street. Uh -huh. I know guys that are smooth operators that can't do that that well. That's a tough one. One of the things that women resist is, why is this guy talking to me? And if it's just because he thinks I'm cute, why should I be interested in him? Uh -huh. um, but if he's interested in something I'm doing, my hiking shoes, my taste in music, maybe I'll be interested enough to talk more. Let's let's do baby steps here by getting, you know, really comfortable with the casual conversation, meeting a few people, going to these places. There was this girl that I would just casually run into, you know, in my office that I've always kind of had a crush on. Her name was Jackie, but. You know, I've kind of stalled and not really made a move. If you do ask her out, keep it casual, like maybe just a cup of coffee, and, and then talk about things you might have in common, you know? Yeah, yeah. I'm oh, good. OK. I've never actually been on a blind date that was like set up between like mutual friends. Like, I've never had that happen. Mercedes has been set up on a blind date with a guy who fits almost none of the things on her list. For a start, he's not six feet tall and he can't dance the salsa. But I want to see if she can be open-minded and curious and not look at every guy and decide whether or not he's husband material immediately. Maybe she can just get to know someone. Hey, what's up? Hi. How are you? I'm Devin. Mercedes. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right. You ready for some bowling? <laughs> First impression, he's attractive but he's just not as tall as guys that I would usually date at all. I've never done this before, this little date thing. You know, Me before. neither. Are you excited? Kinda, uh huh. We got one. You're distracting me. OK. <laughs> You're so competitive, look at you. I'm not competitive. <laughs> oh, OK. Hit it, hit it, hit it. No! Maybe you need to have your ball. You could try mine. I mean, I could be wrong, though. Okay. Don't give me that look like you want to hurt me. I just heard I feel the sarcasm. Threatened. There is no sarcasm my response. in my voice. When my pains are falling, turn your voice off. <laughs> Wait, OK, so why are there all these cameras following you around? And... I think it's because of my list. When I meet people, I tend to hold them up to some standard of husband material or not. So OK, I found it. I usually like a guy to be around six foot tall. <laughs> gotcha. How tall are you? I'm not very tall. Provides romantic gestures just because. Great communicator. Abs. Able to lift me above his shoulders. Oh my gosh. OK. Likes okay. to dance. Likes to dance? Preferably salsa. That list is a little unbelievable. I was excited when I did hit a point, And when I didn't, I, yeah, I, I didn't feel so good about myself. And then receiving gifts, and then quality time. Mercedes is not conscious about how this list is affecting her date because she's so eager not to be vulnerable. She has to learn to think about the other person. She has to learn it's not all about her. So a lot of time, a lot of money, and a lot of gifts, right? Well, I'm not a cheap woman. Well, because I don't have a lot of money. So are you comparing yourself to oh, no, what, not I, what, at all. what I've got going on I'm, here? I don't care. OK. We both know like what actually happened. Like we didn't click at all. And, like, oh, we didn't click at all. No, no. You don't think we clicked at all? Uh, this is really awkward. The list 
is a crutch for her. She's looking for ways to disqualify somebody because they're not on the list. And that's just self-sabotage. This is the worst. This is my worst performance on the first day, period. I feel exposed and I feel vulnerable. I just don't really like to feel that way because I don't, I don't feel like I really um, ever have people to catch me, ever, if I'm falling, like, ever. And I feel like I'm always the person catching other people. It puts me in an awkward position when I have to be vulnerable with people, period. So I feel like maybe all these walls I've built up over years have caused this barrier between me and people in general. I expect that people in general will let you down eventually. In the same month, I lost a boyfriend of three years, and I lost my best friend. And then a few months after that, my father passed away. It just felt like I couldn't breathe at times. And um, I guess the list is just a way to weed out the different types of people who have the potential to hurt me. other fish in the sea but none of them shimmer like you do to me it's day eight in this 21 day experiment mercedes is dating off her list of expectations of what she wants in a man and hopes that she can find someone that's worthy of a second date her list is getting in the way of actually connecting with someone which is a defense mechanism for her in order not to get hurt I didn't really realize that this was an issue, but I need to have someone that I can lean on. And I've needed this for so long. And it's like, I, I was never at a point where I was brave enough to communicate it because I don't like to be perceived as weak. I mean, you're human. People know that human beings suffer and are vulnerable. So when somebody doesn't show that, it's not like people don't think it isn't there. They just think the person isn't being intimate with them and trusting them. If you open up to them, you will find yourself feeling stronger, not weaker. It's not wrong to ask for what you need, it's essential. But what we want you to get out of the habit of is looking at them with your checklist so upfront that they know it's there, right? Mm -hmm. Keep dating out of your comfort zone and to think of, what is what could I learn from this guy? I think that's the way we grow. Now, I'm not saying every man's worth the second day. We all know that's not true, um, <laughs> but I bet more of them are worth it than you think they are. Talking to Pepper was good for me, but letting go is hard. It's going to be a long process. But um, I know the doctor's right, and I'm going to give it a try. I found a single salsa meetup class. Even if I was like too afraid to go up to a girl and talk to her, I'm literally going to be forced to dance with her. Now that I've persuaded Lee that trying to pick up women on the street is a no-go, I'm glad to see he's going to a social event where people aren't on their way to somewhere else and won't be trying to avoid him, hopefully. There's just too many instances of me seeing a woman that I think is attractive and then having her just walk past me and me doing nothing. So I feel like I have to do something here. So I want to take Pepper's advice and just go up to a girl and talk to them about something we have in common. But they never know what to say first. Sometimes I have You're everybody facing the mirror yep. at the beginning, oh, and then times? usually we go in lines. Okay. Well, hopefully I take a few classes, we'll get better at it, and I'll be able to like weed pretty good, and you know. <laughs> so, yeah. So let's have all the leaders on this side. Guys, grab a lady. The idea of talking to all these different women, you know, it's a little intimidating. Uh, my heart starts to race, my hands sweat. It's not a good look. Hi, I'm Lee. I'm Kovita. Kovita? Yeah. Oh, nice to meet you. Five, six, seven, go. Hi, I'm Lee. Wait, yeah. I'm Sarah. I'm Lee. Oh, Lee? Go with your yeah. Lindy. I think every guy <laughs> should learn how to dance. Of course, it should be mandatory. Lee is doing well. Because of the situation, he's been forced to interact with women, and he survived. All he has to do now is be relaxed and be friendly, and then he can ask for a number. Carla, how are you? I'm good. How's it going so far? It's okay. Yeah, okay, cool. Hey, me too, I haven't done anything bad yet, so I'm on a roll. I'm on a roll. <laughs> Not yet. I'd really like to be able to talk to one of these girls long enough to get their number. That girl, Carla, seems pretty nice. Oh, shoot. <laughs> 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 we did an already. 
Yeah, we, we're ahead of everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Good job. Oh. That's pretty good. Cool. Fantastic job. Do you guys have fun? Yeah. I was going to get a pretty good vibe from Carla, and she seems pretty nice, and the ice has been broken, so the idea of asking her out doesn't seem too daunting. Oh, Carla, hey, what'd you think of that class? It was fun. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah. Well, we should do another a class sometime or something. What do you think? Yeah, next week. Okay. Maybe I'll see you next time, next Saturday. So. Nice to meet you. you too. Cool. See ya. <laughs> Poor Lee. He's loved it. But he just needs to be more specific in his conversation. For example, say, how about coffee after class next week? Very specific. No pressure. Keep it light. The salsa class was kind of awkward, but, you know, at least I got out there and tried. You know, my anxiety around women it seemed to kind of go down a little bit, so that was cool. To try and break her bad dating habits in just 21 days, Mercedes has been dating guys she wouldn't ordinarily go out with and pick one for a second date. She's opening herself up to a whole new world, but she's still finding reasons not to get to know them at a deeper level. I've got Jonathan, he's a little chunky monkey, so he's not gonna work for me. Brad, now Brad is 27. Oh, he has a doctorate, yay. And he's 5'4". That kind of puts a damper in things. I'm not really into online dating at all. Like, I'm kind of like completely anti-online dating. People can put whatever they want on those online profiles. Those might not even be their pictures. But for the sake of growing over these 21 days, I am open to this idea. Matt is a civil engineer. I like that. He's just, his appearance as far as his face is a bit asymmetrical for my taste. But you know what? Talking to Pepper is opening me up to the idea of coming into the first date with an open mind instead of coming in with a decision already declared about this individual. Hello. Oh, hi. Nice hi. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Good hey. to see you in person. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I could say the same for sure. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about yourself. What do you like to do? Oh. Stuff like that. I really love movies. What kind of movies are you into? My favorite is Forrest Gump. Seriously? Yeah. Why? And it's fun to do his accent. Like, Jenny, those are not <laughs> comfortable shoes. <laughs> and my father was a hard-working man. <laughs> Okay, any other accents up your sleeve? Oh, yeah, yeah. You have more? Ukrainian farmer. I have a goat on my farm. Uh, her name is Betty. Uh, she has the, the fur like banana peel. Very good. I'm really trying to practice what Pepper is saying, ask questions, be in the moment, and keep an open mind about this. Okay, that, that accent was very good. <laughs> Thank you very much. You have family that, that, that you know that actually lived in Africa before they came here? Well... What you mean? <laughs> like, like, like you they've mean... been in America for a while? I, I'm American. Like, all of my pe people are American. I don't know anybody who's from a different country. What I meant is, like, like, are you from, like, Kenya? Or is your grandma from Kenya or something like that? No. Uh-uh. No. Nope. Not necessarily Kenya. OK. Nope, nope. No. Just all American. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The problem with this date is that you have two awkward people one who is culturally ignorant, and the other who can't have an in-depth conversation, so it's a recipe for a train wreck. But Mercedes was good-natured. She didn't pounce on him, which shows her kinder side. Well, it was really nice to meet you, and I um, hope you have a good night. OK, cool. Great meeting you. Me too. Talk to you later. I'm getting kind of really beyond fed up with this process. I can't wait to freaking um, end these subscriptions to these online dating sites. Bye. Hey, how's it going? My name's Lee. What's your name? It's too much. Yeah, I thought I thought you looked really cute. I mean, I thought you looked really cute, so I wanted to come say hi. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Lee has made some progress in this 21-day process. He's talked to some girls, 
He's changed the venues where he meets women. And now, hopefully, he can build up his confidence. You know, there's not a lot of time here to be uh, taking baby steps, you know, and just saying hello or just having a casual conversation. I'm going to be putting myself in uncomfortable positions, but that's the only way I'm going to become comfortable. And Mercedes has come a long way, too. Even though the dates have been unsuccessful, they've taught her how to listen and to learn, and that there's life outside of her list. Next for Mercedes is her toughest step yet. She hates being out of control. So I'm sending her speed dating, where she'll have no control whatsoever. Apparently, it's going to be 10 different guys there. I didn't know you spent so much time with them. You get to spend five whole minutes with these people. <laughs> that's that, not a whole lot of time. Well, that's a lot. That's a chance for some awkward silence, that's for sure. Maybe there'll be somebody interesting there. Obviously, you're willing to do it, and you're interesting. OK, well, maybe I can try to employ some of the things that I'm learning. I still have my standards. I still do. But standards sounds like immediately I don't meet them, you know? Why don't we say, you know, I have some emotional needs and some practical needs. Those are all things that are very easy to take, and they may also react to you better because they're not feeling judged. Yeah, for sure. I'm not giving up without a fight. I'm up in my luck will change the life. Speed dating is not for the faint of heart. I wouldn't recommend it for anybody who's insecure. Mercedes, I'm sorry to yes. keep you waiting. Maybe you want to tell me a couple things about yourself? I'm an anesthesiologist. Oh, really? So outside of work, what are you into? I, I serve. Uh, yeah. Well, hey, if you ever need a car, <laughs> you don't have to date me to get benefits from me. You know, so. <laughs> So what do you do for a living? I do spiritual removal from people's homes. What? What religion are you exactly? Right now, I am pagan and Wicca. OK. <laughs> so quick. I'm trying to be open. Open and out. Are you nervous? They make you kind of weird out. If this was any other day, the dough. I would have been at the dough. Uh, it's okay. Well, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> you forgot your stuff. Okay. I can't even deal. This is a wrap. No more speed dating for me. Mercedes did really well at the speed dating event. She handled guys who were way off her list with grace and no judgment. Now that she's made so much progress, we hope she can find someone to bond with so she doesn't go back to her old ways. I'm on the way to a singles mixer tonight. It's a lock and key event. Guess I'm gonna be getting a prop. Key, woman's gonna have a lock. I'm gonna go around talking to women, trying to stick my key in their lock. Lock and key events, just like the salsa class, they're both social events where straight away you have something to talk about and it calms those early nerves. The lock and key don't mean anything. They're just props to help break the ice. Now I want to see Lee take it to the next level, to go from light conversation into genuine dialogue with someone. How's it going, man? It's your first time doing something like this? How's it working for you? Have you gotten a lot of uh, connections yet? <laughs> Steven Fitz. Teresa, well, do we want to try it right now? We'll see what happens. Let's try it. Now or never, right? YOLO. No. We're YOLO. You're not the love yeah. of my life. Wow. We're going to no, make it like We're going to make it happen. Oh, wait, wait. Hold, hold up. I haven't used my key in yet. Let's see if this works. Damn. I wish I had one more. I don't have any more. Yeah, you're closer than almost all the others. I like your glasses, by Those are really cool. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I need them to see. So, it's someone like, asked me if these were fake, and I'm like, yeah. a lot of phonies in this town. You know, you gotta be careful. You gotta watch out. So, do you like live around here? Or, like, where do you, where do you I at? I live like 20, 30 minutes east of here in Glendora. I know there's like some like big Pomona, like, uh, music venue there or something, yeah, right? Yeah, it's called the Bath House. Yeah. They're going something play. I'd love to check that out. We should like check out a show or something sometime or yeah. something, you know? Yeah. That's fine. Okay, cool. Let me get your number because I gotta get going, so. Okay. Um, this lock and key event is the key to my success. Two, three, it only took two weeks, but I did it. I got a girl's number. I'm gonna go back and talk to her. I had 
dream I was everything you needed Hoping for the moment you wanted me in your life Mercedes is almost through her 21-day experiment of dating off her list of requirements for a guy. Even though some of these dates were not a match, she's still making great strides and getting to know more about herself. But she needs to make it to a second date with one of these guys, and I don't think she's quite there yet. Her next date is with someone who doesn't tick many of the boxes off her list. Hey. Hi. How you doing? I'm well, Mercedes. how are you? I'm, yeah, what's your Josh. name? Josh. Josh? Nice okay, to nice you. to meet you. He's a calm guy who likes to relax and take it easy. He's not the go-getter leader type that she thinks she wants. Let's see how it goes. So tell me about yourself. I work with kids at this after-school program. I teach them PE, but also during the summer, like skate camp and stuff like that. Really? Yeah, I used to be a somewhat of an amateur skateboarder. When I started teaching the kids, I realized I enjoyed that more, so. That's cool. I really am into like adventure, like kayaking or like rock climbing or. That's something I don't know about doing myself. <laughs> I like the occasional hike or whatever, but I don't want to go out on a rock though. That's <laughs> There's really only one thing that I want to do that seems like a little more dangerous, and that's like racing. Like a like car. Like a car? Yeah. Oh, snap. That's originally what I was going to school for, was for like automotive training. So hold on, dude. You can skateboard and fix a car? Some stuff on cars. <laughs> I'm feeling really good about this one, honestly. I, I think I might like him. It's great that Mercedes met someone she likes. She's allowing herself to be more vulnerable. But she needs to keep going on first dates because I don't think she's shortened her list enough. I'll change for you. Hi, Pepper, how are you? Good, really good. So there's been some good news for sure. I went to a singles mixer. I just wanted to just be friendly and meet people. I mean, just the environment that was in, everybody was supposed to go up to everybody else and talk to them. I really had almost zero fear of talking to people and meeting people. What you can see is the conditions really matter. That gets you a long way to having a good time. You know, I did talk to a few girls and I got like their, you know, their, their phone numbers and whatnot. Sounds like you're on your way. Yeah. Speaking of which, have you reached out to Jackie? That girl you told me you wanted to ask out? Yeah, actually I have. Uh, I found out she still works over there, so I think I'm gonna go over there and see her. This is good, this is great. Lee is in the last stage of the experiment, and I definitely feel that he's made some progress. Now the test will be whether or not he can ask Jackie out. If he can do this and even manage a negative response, he's got this dating thing down. Going to ask Jackie out at the beginning of this 21 day challenge probably would have been a little bit harder and I would have been more anxious about it. But the biggest thing I've learned is that this social anxiety, this nervousness I have around women, it's totally a mental block in my head. Jackie, how's it going? Hey, Lee, what's how's up? How's it going? What Good to doing? see you again. Oh, how's here. it going? Good. What are you doing here? Uh, well, I know it's been a while since we've seen each other. I haven't um, seen you in forever. I know. I quit my job here because I'm not really here anymore, but I just came by for my last paycheck, so. Oh, no wonder I haven't seen you around. I just yeah, thought you were, yeah, like, yeah. sick or something. No, no. I just, uh, it was just, like, a not that great of a job, so I just had to quit, you know? Yeah. Are you still living over by, uh... I'm in West Hollywood right now. Oh, that's, oh wow. Yeah, yeah. That's fun. Yeah, I'm always partying. <laughs> I'm in Koreatown, so... Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah. so you, uh, you go to the clubs a lot? You do, do like, a lot of dancing and stuff, or...? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. It's okay. pretty fun out there. I have a good yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Um, we should, uh, go out there sometime. Maybe I can get your number and we can hang out sometime. You know, go out dancing or something. Uh, what do you think? I would totally love to hang out with you as friends, but I actually have a boyfriend. Oh, um, OK. So I don't know how he would feel about that. Yeah, yeah. All I right, feel well, bad had weird. you asked me like maybe like a few months ago, but I yeah, it's kind I... of a new relationship. Ah, it's OK, you know? It's all good. Don't okay, worry about well, it. Well, it was good to see you. Um, <laughs> yeah, you Maybe too. we can like grab coffee as friends and just hang out. Yeah, yeah, I'll be back around hopefully sometime soon. All right, well, it's good cool. to see you, Lee. Good to see you, too. All right. All right. Good to see you later. See ya. Poor Lee. Well, at least he tried. And I think that's important. But the main thing to look out for, to see how much he's grown over these 21 days, is to see how he handles this rejection. 
that was really tough because, yeah, I just, I don't really connect with just about anybody, so it's, it's harder for me. But see, like, it's also a, a challenge, and I feel like... The fact that I was even able to do this is a huge step for me. I realized that wasn't even a big deal when she turned me down. This has given me the confidence to keep going, because I know there's somebody out there for me. So I am going to get ready for my date with Liston. Mercedes is about to go on her last date. This time with a guy who's not religious, which is the number one item she wants on her list. But he's tall. Hey. Hey, how are All you? Right. I'm good, how are you? I'm good. Good to see you. I love this city. For the first six months I was out here, I didn't really make any friends I didn't really want to. It. I came out here for acting, so that was like all I was focused on. I think we missed it. Oh, <laughs> we did. Whoops. That's OK. <laughs> OK, I snuck into a restroom. This guy is dreamy. Oh, but he does have a potty mouth. And he did say the Lord's name in vain. Please go to church, please. Oh, my god. Ooh. I think I hit the <laughs> jackpot. Ma jabon. Hey, well, enjoy. Thank you. Okay, I want to bless you. Okay. Hey, cool. Obviously, you're religious. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any religious background? Not really. No. Oh, uh, I really I believe in something out there, but. I don't know, so I have a term for it. Yeah. I'm going to run to the restroom for a sec, and I'll be back. Enjoy. Mm. He's so cute. And he's actually a cool guy. It seems like we have um, a lot in common, like as far as like just our, our vibes, but spiritually, we're not, not even remotely on the same page. It's important not to write someone off, even for religion, because you might find out you share the same values, the same spirituality, just not the same approach. When you are really attracted to someone, you want to find ways to be with that person, not find ways to be apart. Thanks for lunch. So I had a good time. Good time. <laughs> okay. This is even though he doesn't have a relationship with Jesus, I, I'm actually willing to waive that requirement. Talk to you soon. OK, cool. Bye. Bye. The 21 day experiment is over. Both Lee and Mercedes have made great progress breaking their bad dating habits. But there still is one more challenge. Mercedes has to choose someone for a second date. I think you've changed a lot over these last 21 days. What do you think has happened? Oh my gosh, I, I believe so too. I'm going on a second date for the first time in over a year. <laughs> yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah. And I really like that you're just getting to know him and that you're not checking every category. So, so what things are you going to keep from that long list you have? What are you going to like whittle it down to just to open it up for some exploration and some surprise. I know you want someone whose faith is in place the way that it matters to you. Honestly, I do want to see some leadership qualities from him um, in, a, in a spark of adventure. So faith, leadership, adventure. I think, I think I'm good there. Yeah, I think that's a reasonable set of things to look for. And I think that you'll find someone now, I do. I'm really excited about going on the second date. He has like that general, like love people vibe. We are probably more compatible because he would seem to be more real and more genuine. I'm not sure if he can lift me over his shoulders. I wouldn't care. For me, this process has been um, a life-changing experience. I've just come to grow into this realization. It's all about getting to know someone. And I believe that the more you're around someone, the more layers you get to peel back about that person. I'm letting go. I'm open to new possibilities. I don't have to reference the list ever again. And I'm actually interested in someone for a change. Hey. 
How are you? Doing good. How about you? Good. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. You look good. Thank you. You as well. <laughs> you <don't worry. laughs> The 21 days are up, and honestly, I feel like a new man. Day one, I could barely approach anyone. Just say hello to this girl right here. Man. It was pretty embarrassing, and the lock and key event. It was a huge moment for me. I like your glasses, by those are really cool. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that was when a light switch went off in my head, and I realized that, yeah, I can be a social, fun guy that can, you know, approach people and just be enjoyable to be around. For me, the hardest thing definitely was going to ask Jackie out. We had that conversation and she's like, oh, I'm not available, I have a boyfriend. Like, it wasn't that big a deal. And uh, that was really probably the biggest goal that I set for myself. And I've come a long way. I'm Lee. Hi, Lee, I'm Bree, it's so nice Bree, to see you. Oh, your dog is super cute. Excuse me, do you guys know if they sell coffee in this place? Or just... Lee has come a long way in the last 21 days. He's minimized his approach anxiety, and he's not afraid to ask a woman out. What's your name again? Lee. Lee, that's You said right. your name Wonderful. was Bree. Bree. Lee Bree. and Bree. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's not hard to remember. Come on, it rhymes. Yeah. It's meant to be. <laughs> oh, whoa. Look at it's that. crazy. Is there eye contact? Are they smiling? Do they follow the movements that you're making and mirror them in some way? That means you're connected. <laughs> well, I got to get back in there. It was really nice meeting you, Yeah, you, you too. Lee. Well, why don't, you, why don't you get your number? We can hang out sometime or OK. Something. Yeah. All right. If you have approach anxiety, one of the things you can do is to tell people you're shy right up front. If you tell them you're shy or this is hard for you, they're gonna be extra nice about it. But let's face it, it takes time. It's not a one-shot deal. <laughs> Hope you guys got that. I'll change for you. Change for you. For you, I'll change in the 